The world is run by the man. The man. Oh, you don't know the man? Oh, he's everywhere. And the man ruined the ozone, and he's burning down the Amazon, and he kidnapped Shamu and put her in a chlorine tank. So, what's bugging you? Let's talk about it here on the Mike Gallagher Show. 1-800-655-MIKE. Here's Marty. Hey, Marty, how are you? First time caller. You're welcome. I absolutely agree with you. Even if you don't agree with Mike, give him a call. He's a good listener. Now, back to Mike. You won't disagree that the story of uh, Wayne Lydy is a great American story here on the Mike Gallagher Show. Time again for another American story with Mike Gallagher. I love these stories. I love stories that show that, that there are people who love their country, who make this country unique. Listen to this. After completing two tours in Iraq, Sergeant Wayne Lighty won a million dollars from a scratch-and-win lotto ticket. Now that he's won, this 26-year-old member of the Washington National Guard says he's still going back for a third tour of duty and isn't planning to spend any of his money in the meantime. Let's welcome Wayne Lighty to the Mike Gallagher Show. Sergeant, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Well, congratulations on winning the lottery. you got to walk us through this. I saw your story on the news this morning. We had to get you on the program. First of all, tell me tell me what it feels like to win a, mil- a million dollars in the lottery. Overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you? How did you win the? T- I mean, what it was a scratch and, and play number or whatever? Um, yes, sir. What it was is I was on my way home from the gym and I stopped at a uh, local gas station just to pick up a uh, coke and some beef jerky on my way home and uh, <laughs> decided to get a ticket. Yep, you went into the local. What was it? The zip trip. Yes, sir. A local zip trip and. Uh, but you didn't buy the, the winning ticket initially, did you? No. Actually, what I did is I walked up to the counter, and I bought two $10 tickets and two $20 tickets. And, right. And the lady behind the counter goes, well, do you have a lucky scratcher? And I said, no, but I have a nickel and dime from the transaction. And she goes, no, 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 no. You need a lucky scratcher. And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave you a penny? Um, yeah, she did. And so on my on my way home, I uh, scratched the first two tickets, and uh, they were both bagels. I didn't win anything, and I was like, boy, that lady didn't know what she was talking about, this scratcher. So, <laughs> And then uh, when I finally got home, I scratched the winner and uh, exploded out of bed and woke everybody up in the house. And, Holy cow. Uh, and it's a million dollars? Yes, sir. Man, oh, man. Well, first of all, you, you better bring that lady flowers or something. Oh. I mean, her luck, the lucky scratcher worked, you know, get her a back scratcher or something, get her, get her something that'll, that'll thank her for her. Obviously they know at the store that you won, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Now you live in an area, uh, you and your parents live in, uh, in where in the, in the Mount, Mount Spokane area of Washington, right? Yes, sir. That's correct. And you're not, and rents are through the roof. I mean, it's a high cost <laughs> of living there. I, I read here at abcnews.com. So you're going to be very careful about how you, how you spend this million dollars, right? Exactly. I mean, you're um, gonna, are you going to spend it right away? You know, I I think what my what I'm going to do, my plans are, is I'm just going to kind of sit on it for a few days and let reality come back to earth and get a better perspective, and uh, then I'll make my decision from there. Um, for right now, I think I'm just going to save for retirement and uh, return the uh, blessing to who's who, people who really deserve it. And and you're also going back to Iraq. Yes, sir. You have a third tour of duty scheduled, right? Yes, sir. When do you leave? Um, they haven't exactly given us an exact date yet, sir, but uh, sometime later this year. Later this year. And there, did you waver at all in deciding to return? I mean, you know, Wayne, you are a millionaire now, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, <laughs> I, I look at it like this. I made this commitment to go back uh, by volunteering, and uh, no matter the amount of money that anybody has, a commitment comes first. And I do this for the guy that's on my left and right over there, and they come first, and that's why I do it. So. I'm telling you, you're giving us chills, and that's uh, you know you you embody the spirit of what it means to be an incredible American. Let me let me ask you something. After your first tour, two tours, and you hear all the controversy, and a, and a show like mine ex- explores the controversy every day. There are people against the war. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to drag you into politics, but you know that there are presidential candidates who would like us to withdraw immediately from Iraq once they get elected president. Uh, from your perspective, Sergeant, I mean, what what have you seen in Iraq on your first two tours to 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 make you want to go back? Do you do you have that sense of optimism and and a positive outlook that we are really making a difference in that part of the world? 
You know, when I was first in the situation, I definitely saw a need for us to be there because there's always a group of people that needs our help. And upon returning the second time, <clears throat> I saw even a greater need to be over there for us. And anytime you go in those situations, there's a group of people that needs your help, and then there's going to be a group of people that needs to oppose. And despite all the political influence over there, there are a lot of individuals over there that need our help. And as long as we can go over there and change the lives of a few, then we're doing the right thing. And and what is your what what do your friends and your family think about your decision to to fulfill your promise and your commitment and go back to Iraq for a third time after winning the lottery and becoming uh, the the winner of a million dollar ticket? Um, they're kind of drawn in between. Half of them want me to go, and half are like, okay, maybe you need to slow down and rethink. But to me, it's a simple choice. You know, I made a commitment. I'm going to keep it. Are you? In, i got to ask you some personal questions. Tell me about your family. Do you live with your parents? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, you, girlfriend? Um... Yeah, sort of. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I get. I guarantee. I bet you that relationship just got cemented. I bet you. I <laughs> yes, bet you're gonna have lots of girlfriends now coming out of the woodwork. Let me ask you, what happens when you win a million dollars? Do you get a one lump sum payment, or have you have you gotten that far along in the process? Um. Yes, sir. They don't actually give you the option. That's all you get is the lump sum, and then they take twenty five percent immediately for taxes. So you're gonna get. You you know you're gonna net seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yes, sir. Holy cow! And you're going back to a wreck. Are you gonna do anything for yourself at all? Anything nice for yourself? You're gonna buy a new car? Are you gonna do anything? Well, I, I really. This is just an an overwhelming blessing for me, and um, I just I really I I'm gonna enjoy the opportunity to help others who truly deserve this. So you may be so, want, thinking about a foundation or something, or 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 some other ways that maybe you could kind of philanthropically do something with some of the money. I think uh, Shriners Hospital for uh, the kids um, right. is going to be probably an area that I explore for uh, donation. And then I'm going to help some family and friends. And then I'm going to save a little for me for retirement. And then the rest, who knows? Man. I bet your mom and dad are so proud of you, they can't stand it. Uh, they, they, what, what are your parents saying? They are just so overwhelmed and pleased right now about the whole thing. It's just something for them that's, you know, it's just kind of a, just a real overwhelming event. I hope you don't mind if we're intrusive enough to, to have my producer kind of stay in touch with you. We'd love to know how things are going and when you're going to go back to Iraq and, and, and kind of keep us posted on, on how your life unfolds, because I have a hunch that uh, that Wayne Lighty is going to be doing some great things with his life and with his future, and uh, you make me just so proud to know that we're fighting the good fight over there and that there are people like you who represent the best and the brightest of Americans. You just make me so proud, and I'm honored to have been able to spend a few minutes with you, Wayne. Oh, thank you, sir. It means the world to me. Thanks for joining us. Thank I appreciate you. it very much. Amazing, amazing story. Sergeant Wayne Lighty, the Washington National Guard, going back for a third time, wins a million dollars a few weeks ago. And uh, doesn't even doesn't even bat an eye. Of course, she's going back. <laughs>